Thanks, guys. I'll answer any questions for you. Front row, uh, middle. Lori? Coach, how deliberate are you able to be about your body language during a game? I know you've got like a zillion other things going on in your mind, but how deliberate are you able to be with that? I have no idea. I'm not thinking body language? Yeah. Mine? Yeah. Not deliberate at all. Okay. Right next door, Dave? I know you guys got to take what the defense gives you offensively, um, but with the quarterback you have and the receivers you have, do you feel like you're taking enough deep shots downfield this year offensively, Urban? I did. I think uh, uh, I'm not sure we did Saturday. You know, I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, I, for quite a while, I thought we were almost doing too many deep shots, you know, but uh, um, yeah, I think that's a good question. I'm going to check into that when I'm done, but I think we've been pretty consistent throughout the games of taking shots down the field. Urban, there, it always seems like there's this general generalization that teams come out sleepy for noon starts. You have had a lot of success with Ohio State getting teams ready to start at noon. What's the what's the secret there to getting ready for 12? I think Coach Mick and our staff do a really good job at just the energy, and you know we get them bed early, and uh, we're used to noon games. I, I think a lot of guys like them. I personally like them as well, and so uh, I think uh, uh, I, li- I like the energy that we've had the last few noon games. Uh, far left, uh, Doug. Uh, health update for the team? Just everybody all right? Yeah, Barron's, uh, Barron Browning won't make it this week. And I think everybody else is good to go. And this is, this might, I don't know. Dwayne played high school ball in Maryland, going back to Maryland. In that process, when the fact that Dwayne Haskins ended up here, along the way there, did you have an idea? Were you pretty confident, even when you maybe were looking at other guys, that Dwayne Haskins might end up a Buckeye, or, or the fact that he wound up here in the end? What, what yeah, kind of road? I was remember that was a, a unique situation. That uh, there was a, another uh, young man that committed to us early on, and he ended up, I think, going to Oregon to play another position. And then, uh, you know, Dwayne's a guy that I was always very close with, and then, uh, but he committed to Maryland, and then they had the coaching transition, if I remember right, and. Uh, uh, Always had a really good relationship with him, and we went after him very hard and got him. So even, I mean, just we kept following him. Yeah, uh, like you throughout. Do, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's pretty commonplace. Yeah. Uh, third row left, Dan Urban. Chris Olave has been in a wide receiver rotation for a couple weeks now. How do you feel like his play has been? Boy, so he's going to be good. He's uh, he's way ahead of schedule, and uh, it just you know special teams. He's doing good for us and made a great. Uh, I think he had a couple catches in Saturday's game, and one was a big one across the middle, but he's going to be a fine player. What do you think of things in particular if it's enabled him as a true freshman? To he's be tough, and he's smart, and he's uh, very mature for his age. And, and final question, front row right. Tim? Yeah, Urban, uh, uh, defensively, what just does, what does stands out to you about Maryland? I mean, they've, they've made some pretty big plays. They've had some good games, some bad games. They're Talent. Right. They're, uh, they have that transfer, Trey I Watson. believe, from Auburn. Trey Watson? The no, linebacker? Cowart. Oh, okay, number yeah. nine, the big guy, and yeah. then uh, just very good talent. I mean, that's uh, and they play that odd four eye, which is very you know we faced a few teams like that this year. Very multiple what they do, but obviously whenever you start talking about what makes a team good and why are they playing good on defenses, they have very good talent and fast. If they changed anything since Durkin hasn't been around, is have you noticed anything different from them this year, offensively or defensively, compared to a year ago? Uh, quite honestly, I can't really remember a year ago and. Uh, I think we watched a little bit of their videotape, but uh, they're they're uh, they're very difficult to defend with all the motion shifts and fly motions, and and uh, they've had some games where the teams you know, put six, seven hundred yards on people, and then on defense, it's it's pretty much the same, if I recall from uh, what DJ it's DJ's defense, I believe. Great, coach. Thank you. Thanks, very much. guys.